Greetings, everyone. Uh, welcome back um, for those who have already subscribed to Journey Through Alkebulon and for those who have not, welcome to Journey Through Alkebulon. Um, I'm Mahogany, um, for those who don't know. Um, and I know um, to my loyal subscribers, you know, I've been gone away for quite some time. Um, and so I just wanted to come on and do a video as to uh, update you guys on what's been going on with me. Um, as I told you all, I live a very busy life. Um, and so uh, I don't, you know, YouTube on a regular basis because I have other things that take precedence um, in my life. Um, and that is being a mother um, to my son, S-U-N, uh, and um, <clears throat> just really uh, creating uh, a self-sufficient, self-sustainable life and ma making plans to do that and other business ventures um, that I am currently um, involved in at this juncture. So um, my time is, is split. And then, you know, I have um, spiritual uh, <laughs> things um, that I am involved in as well um, during this time of a dimensional shift. So um, I will be doing a video um, and I'll be putting that out here soon and it will be about the documents that's required for you to submit your um, packet for a work permit, okay? Um, I wanted to, um, there are some things that I am working on as it relates to the, uh, the diaspora, the tribe of the, of the diaspora. Um, and I will disclose those things when I feel it is the right time. Um, so please be on the lookout for that. But, um, something had been put on my spirit and I have hearkened and I am now following through. So as um, I progress in the process, I will um, make you all aware exactly what's going on, what I'm doing for the Diaspora Tribe um, and how it's going to be extremely beneficial um, to us um, that are coming back home. Um, on the continent and um, especially for those who are returning to uh, um, this land now called Tanzania. Um, so yeah, so I've been uh, a busy bee here uh, per usual. I've been away. I have been going through a lot of um, ascension, ascension symptoms. Um, you know, I've been rarely getting, uh, you know, sleep um you know waking up in the early mornings i've always um, been awakened um in the three o'clock hour always um for the past few two to maybe three years it's just been like clockwork always awakened at that time um and prior to that um you know i've always like the night hours been a night owl you know um they'll probably go a bit go to bed you know back in my my heydays uh as a as a teenage girl probably about one o'clock you know in the morning or later just if either i'm up talking to uh that special someone on the phone at that time or uh talking to a good girlfriend or i'm just up doing my own thing writing poetry or whatever it is that i am moved to do but um, in the past few years, yeah, I've just um, been awakened um, at that hour. It is the, it's called the bewitching hour. And um, I've just really just been going along, you know, trying to uh, get through, you know, this um, really beautiful time that we're going through, but it's also uh, troublesome. Um, because we're caught between two dimensions right now. We're in the arc um, of the third and fourth dimension. So, um, you know, just been a lot of, you know, uh, some restlessness at times. Um, but just being up, you know, throughout the night, not being able to really sleep. 
um, getting up early, uh, the days just seem like they are just running together quickly. So um, yeah, um, just been experiencing that. And for those that don't know, um, if you haven't heard me share this before, in, at my core, I am an introvert. I've always been an introvert. Um, just very private, um, very much to myself. Um, have an extremely small circle of people, um, you know, friends, uh, if you will, um, that I may speak to. Um, but in my heart of hearts, I'm an introvert and I take a lot of time for and to myself. And I don't like to really, um, I don't like exposing my energy to too many people and interacting with various inner energies um, too much. Um, it doesn't, it, it never serves me well, if you will. Um, and the only reason why I'm more social at this time is because of um, my son. He is opposite of me. He's very much so sociable. Um, and he has brought me a bit out of my uh, very comfortable and comforting shell of um, being an introvert. Um, but I say this to say that I will be reclaiming my energy, you know, um, because I feel like um, me exposing myself to various energies, um, it just has not been beneficial for me. It has not been beneficial um, for to me at all. Um, and so I have to protect my energy and it's it's really interesting because um, I would say some months ago I was at a gathering um, in Arusha and um, and I would say prior to that gathering I had met just a wonderful sister who reached out to me and who happened to watch my video um, and she you know invited me out um, to to eat and we, we went out and we had great conversation we've been um, you know, communicating and building, you know, a sisterhood ever since then. Um, you know, and she's still in Arusha right now. Um, but she told me something that I, I didn't fully understand why she was telling me that. But um, now it, I am starting to uh, see and understand exactly why. But she told me, she said, Mahogany, you are, you need to um, protect your energy. You are special and you have to protect your energy. And of course we all are special. So this is not to, you know, make you all feel like that you're less special. Okay, and I, it, I really shouldn't have to say things like that, but people get so um, insecure and, you know, when, uh, when expressing certain things, so. Um, but she, we all have our special purpose. Um, we all have our um, uniqueness, yeah? And we all have our calling and our gifts and our talents. And um, in her seeing that and just seeing that I was here for a special purpose, you know, she told me and warned me that I needed to protect my energy. And I said, okay, sis. I said, thank you, you know? And... Um, I would say like a week later, I was at a gathering and sister I had never met. Um, pretty quiet, you know, I noticed that she was new uh, to Tanzania at the time. Um, turns out she had, she had, uh, had just arrived and she pulled me to the side um, later on in the night. And she said, As you know, sis, I, I, I have to let you know something. I said, sure, absolutely. What is this, sis? And she said, I'm told to tell you that you need to protect your energy. And I said, okay, sis. She said, I just needed to tell you that. And that was it. That was it, you know. Um, and I said, this is something, wow. Like, 
another sister just told me this a week ago. I didn't share that with her. I'm, I'm having this conversation with myself inside. And I'm like, what? this is like two people now, you know, telling me that I need to protect my energy. Why are they telling me this? Do they see something that I don't see? Do they know something that I don't know? So fast forward to uh, the present. Um, you know, I have been interacting with so many, you know, people, people that are newly coming in. There's so many that are coming into Tanzania and a lot of people reach out to me. Now, um, a part of knowing myself, um, you know, is is knowing every part of myself, how I how I think, you know, how I behave, you know, and respond to certain situations. Um, and, you know, my birth chart helped me to do that, just studying and studying my birth chart. And I've always known just me being, um, you know, the scales, um, you know, caught between these two burdens of just trying to maintain my balance, but also having this um, predestined, like, calling to be a humanitarian and to help whomever I can, whenever I can, however I can, always be supportive, be that listener, give, you know, uh, to share wisdom and give advice, you know, when asked, um, but it's draining. And it's also very draining and uh, upsetting to me when people who don't know you from a can of paint, but may have interacted with you on a couple or a few occasions and they feel like they know you and they don't. And um, I have been experiencing that for quite some time now and it's now coming to a head and it's made me make the decision that I need to reclaim my energy. So, um, you know, like I said, I am an introvert at heart. Um, and so a lot of times I go into quiet mode. A lot of times I don't feel like chit chatting, you know, um, and, and that's outside of the people in my circle and even the people that are in my very small circle, you know, um, I, I have, I, I keep time for myself, a lot of time for myself. I spend a lot of time for my, with myself and doing, you know, um, just introspection and just thinking and learning, um, going within myself is so important to me, to this soul. I've always been like that. And those who truly know me, my family and people who have known me from since I was a young girl, um, they will tell you she's, that's, that's how she is. That's who she is, you know? Um, so I need to reclaim my energy um, with all that, you know, being said. Um, and a lot of times, like I said, I wanted to finish that point about me being an introvert and being quiet and people thinking that they know you. Um, I've had that happen so many times in my life where I am around a group of people, but I go into my quiet mode and people make it an issue because I am not acting in a way that they want me to act. I am not paying them the type of attention that they want me to pay to them at that particular time. I am a goddess. I am a queen. I am a mother. I'm a grown ass woman. <laughs> so, um, you know, I don't have to answer to anybody down here. I don't. Um, and so, yeah, it's made out to be an issue or, you know, <laughs> oh, you know, energy has changed or this and that because you're not engaging um, at that time and in a way that they feel like that you should. And when they, they have no idea who you are, you know. And so, um, you know, I just feel like I definitely need to uh, reclaim my energy. I am very given, you know, you guys, I come on here and I share uh, my experiences, I share my intellectual property, I share my knowledge with you all freely. And you know, of course, if you want to contribute or donate, it is welcome. Um, 
and, and, and very much so appreciated. Um, but, you know, I'm not on here, you know, trying to get money, you know, um, because like I said, I live in abundance and I feel like whatever I put out there, it will not feel like I know. I know what I put out there will be returned back to me a thousand fold. Um, and so, yeah, that's it. You know, you guys, I just needed to really, uh, um, you know, get that out of the way. Um, yeah, so the energy here right now, just being on the continent um, during this time, um, I just feel like it, it soon is going to be time to really like things are getting kicked into high gear with um, there's a like division being set up. Um, you know, you have the vaxxers and then the non, you know, um, there's this separation um, and this severing I see being done right now within our nation. Um, and yeah, there are a lot of uh, different souls and, and um, races of, you know, men that have taken on various bodies um, different various races of men you have you know um, the human you have uh, mankind you have the god man so um, you know then you have the these the rats and the grave I mean you have all of these these uh, different uh, beings and entities in play right now um, systems are being brought down right now um, and I am going to end this message in just really warning you that you better be doing your work you better be doing your inner work and you better be preparing for the time to come what's happening now and i really will get more into depth on my channel on my other channel mahogany speaks truth i have not been active on that channel at all because i've just I have asked questions within myself. I've asked questions throughout the universe and has come to me in many forms, in speakers, in books, um, in observation, um, and just me analyzing that information within myself. As a goddess, I can determine what is truth and what is not truth. And so, um, you know, just, just, you know, doing, doing that work and, um, we just need to be prepared we need to be prepared what's happening right now is there is a like i mentioned earlier this is a dimensional shift um our sun has been changing for years now um it is pushing out a lot of magnetic energy a lot of powerful magnetic energy and what that is doing is it's going to knock out all things that are electrical so this great time of darkness that has been prophesied about and others have talked about it's all throughout you know youtube it's on the internet um this is how that's going to you know uh come about and so we have to be prepared for that time um so i would encourage you and i would employ you to prepare yourself and to prepare your home this is a time where you need to be in uh, uh, securing lands um, um, and, and making sure, you know, that you and your family and the nation is, um, you know, prepared, the black nation is prepared um, for what's, you know, what's to come. We have been at war for years now, but because it does not look like the war that you are accustomed to, you continue to sleep and thinking that everything is okay and that we're not in a volatile situation, you know, um, and, and, and that, you know, we're not in a situation where a lot of people are going to be severed and cut off. They're not going to go into this next dimension. Um, and that's just the way that, that, that it is. And that is what the prophecy, um, has, has always stated. And so we know that, but those of you all that are truly conscious, um, those of, of you all that have a yearning of wanting to become um, really conscious and turn your light on um, so that you can change the um, atomic structure of your temple so that you can be 
uh, carried into the fourth dimension. Um, you know, prepare yourselves and do your inner work. Do your inner work. And that's really been my focus. Um, that is my primary focus um, outside of being a mother to my son. Um, that's what I want to encourage you all to do. It, you know, it just takes just a good, a good handful of us, you know, who have a good heart and good intentions to, um, and I would like to say even, to, and, and let me finish that point, who have a good heart and good intentions to change the trajectory of what's to come, uh, to help this earth evolve, um, and to change the reality. Um, so yeah, I, I just uh, wanted to, you know, put that message, you know, out there um, and just kind of just come on and say, hey, <laughs> and let you guys know, you know, where I've been. But um, please take heed, you guys. We're in war. We are at war and you need to act as such. And that doesn't mean go into a state of hysteria. I'll repeat, that does not mean that you need to go into a state of hysteria. That is counterproductive to your ascension process, to your evolution. It is counterproductive. It only keeps this matrix going. It only feeds those entities that have you trapped here in your lower vibration that have you trapped in this matrix. It only feeds them and help this matrix to continue to thrive. That is what they feed off of, your fear. And if you can master, if you can kill and eradicate fear, huh, you wait and see you. Kill and eradicate your fear. And you see See how your life changes. See how your environment changes. See how your per your perception changes. How your mind changes. See how lighter you feel. So, um, so yeah, you know, um, let's support each other. Whatever projects, whether you, I don't care what land you are in, in Alkebulon or even in the belly of the beast in Babylon, or what is now Babylon, which was not um, Babylon, you know, originally, those lands were owned by our ancestors, uh, the Moors, in case you don't know. Um, I would like to say also, whatever seems to be, or what has been purported as the truth, or set up as the truth, um, in this matrix or what you have been told as a little kid as the truth and what the majority of the people have now accepted to be the truth which is why we have the reality that we have you need to flip it upside down and that way it'll be right side up okay flip it upside down so that it can be right side up okay um help each other help one another whether, you know, you're building, you know, making sure, and I would say build natural homes, build things that are natural and in harmony with nature, because things that are artificial will not be carried into the next dimension. It will be left behind. Anything that is unnatural will not be allowed in the next dimension. It will be left behind. So make sure that you are building natural structures for you and your family. Um, and if whatever project that you are in, let's help one another. Let's help one another. Where we get in our hands dirty, we get in there and we're helping one another build, you know, their house or uh, houses. Um, maybe we can help a bit monetarily with maybe some supplies and things of that nature. Let's be one in this dimensional shift and in this shift of power which is our time to be restored as a nation and as rulers of our earth okay 
so that we can be the example for humanity. That is why we are here. It's the carbon beans, also known as melanin. It gives us so much more. It's so much deeper than this beautiful, glowing, dark skin. Brown, beautiful brown skin, you know, multiple, you know, uh, uh, shades, you know, of brown, you know, and black, you know, and talking about us specifically, those that, um, you know, not only just came um, up in our vocabulary, but we, we spread out throughout, throughout the entire earth and ruled the entire earth. It's so much more than just um, this skin. It is an intelligence. It is what makes you a superhero. It is what all the movies and the comic books you know, that, that's what, that's their inspiration. It's you, original man, original womb man. All right, um, until next time, be good, royal family.